Minnesota's Rep. Dean Phillips is one of few congressional Democrats openly calling for 2024 challengers to President Joe Biden. Is it because Phillips himself wants a shot at the Oval Office? Not likely, at least not this election, unless Biden's health or polling numbers get dangerously worse, sources told Politico in late July. I'm a representative, and I'm representing what I believe to be the majority of the country that wants to turn the page, Phillips, who is in his third term representing Minnesota's third congressional district, told MSNBC's Chuck Todd on Meet the Press on Sunday. Some Democratic lawmakers and strategists have wrung their hands over Biden's age, health, and favor in the polls leading up to the 2024 election. Tired of the meanness and the fear-mongering of Donald Trump, I would like to see Joe Biden, a wonderful and remarkable man, pass the torch and cement this extraordinary legacy, Philip said Sunday. I believe what's in the best interest of the country, and by the way, this is not how everybody thinks, but I do believe the majority wants to move on. While several names of younger, fresher potential candidates have been tossed about, just two Democrats have formally entered the race to primary Biden, attorney Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and 2020 presidential candidate Mary Ann Williamson. As a Democrat, I adore Joe Biden. He saved this country. He can cement his legacy, Phillips said. My real call to action right now is not about me. The call to action is to ask the president to pass the torch. There is an extraordinary bench of people ready to go. Phillips said he hopes a moderate governor, hopefully from the heartland, would throw their hat in the ring and pick up voters where Biden is currently lacking them. He and Todd tossed out names like Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, and Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers.